Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about books today. Yes, I still read them, and you know what? We're going to talk about my five favorite programming books, so stay tuned. Let's see the intro. First up on my list here, we have the C-Sharp in-depth book here by Mr. John Skeet. And this is a really great read to just learn the C-Sharp programming language in general. This happens to be a uh, second edition, which I'm sure there's probably a newer edition. This one only covers the uh, uh, C-Sharp 4, and we've come a long way since then. But anyway, there we go. C-Sharp in-depth by John Skeet. You should read it. When you do write your unit tests, make sure you write unit tests that count, and this book right here can help you with that. And this one's a pretty awesome book here if you just want to kind of get in depth into unit testing in .NET. Um, of course, I don't agree with everything the author has to say here, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I really think this is a good read, and uh, it's a real great way to uh, really get yourself into good unit testing. Next, we got. Dependency Injection in C Sharp, and this is a pretty awesome book here. This is by Mark Seaman, and uh, I, I bought this book because I wanted to take away the mystery of Dependency Injection, and this one really does a good job of kind of taking the magic away so you can actually understand what the heck's going on with Dependency Injection. Not only that, it also will teach you um, why you should do dependency injection and not necessarily um, jump right into an IOC container, you know, learn about poor man's dependency injection, things like that. When I first learned dependency injection, it was just a little bit uh, too much magic for me. But now that I read this book, it really pretty much took away all the, the mystery and the drama and the why doesn't this work? For, uh, <laughs> I just need it to work. And uh, this book right here will totally help you with that. Domain Driven Design. This book has been around for a very, very long time. I've got the hardcover edition. I don't even know if they make a softcover edition. Wow, this looks really expensive. I'm glad I didn't pay that much. Um, I know those who really love Entity Framework out there. For me, Entity Framework represents a data-driven design where this here has a lot to do with domain objects. Um, this book right here will help you uh, build business objects and build business oriented software as opposed to, hey, there's some data over there. Hey, why don't we throw a UI around this data over here? Domain driven design doesn't let you do that. Domain driven design will basically uh, make you speak in what they call ubiquitous language and what a ubiquitous uh, language sounds like is the accountant down the hallway and the web developer, they all speak the same language. Finally, we have Working Effectively with Legacy Code by Mr. Michael C. Feathers. This book is pretty much an awesome way to approach uh, coding in general. So you should typically be coding in a very solid way, but let's face it, um, not all code is made the same. This is a really awesome book. Um, basically, it puts down in a book all the different things you'll probably see when you inherit other people's code. When you're in control of your own code, things seem to be pretty easy. You kind of know where everything is, how everything works. However, the instant you change your jobs, you now need this book. Now, this is probably my favorite book here because it has a lot of real world things in it. I believe all the examples were in Java, but even though I'm a C-sharp developer, it doesn't really matter because Java, C-sharp, they're very similar. It's the, it's the patterns and the techniques that you should take away with this book. One thing that sets the tone in this book is basically any code you write without a unit test is immediately legacy code. This is an awesome book, so who is it for? It's for anyone, basically any developer, because this right here for object-oriented programmers will help you untie the mess you may find yourself in. Full disclosure, I don't write unit tests for all my code. It's just, I just don't have the kind of time. However, um, this book will help you understand when you have to replace some code that a unit test can really save your bacon. So here they are, here's my top five favorite books for object-oriented developers. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you have a favorite book that you like that I didn't list, go ahead and list it in the comments. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you really like this video. Thanks. Bye. Dependency injection. Why don't you just work?